No doubt you have heard about inflation and the impact it has on all of us, but have you ever heard about shrinkflation? Efforts are underway in Washington to address the so-called shrinkflation. Federal lawmakers say it's kind of an unknown issue that impacts families all across the country. And 2822 News I team reporter Andy Mahalschik is working the story. Andy joins us live from Wilkesbury. Andy, what's this all about? Well, Nick and Candace, I can tell you, it's quite the interesting conversation with shoppers here at Shields Family Market in Wilkesbury. They, again, people heard about inflation, right? But they were surprised and very interested to find out what is shrinkflation. Now, in short, shrinkflation is paying more for a product but getting the same amount or less of that product. While well, U.S. Senator Bob Casey is spearheading efforts in Washington to change that. Have you ever heard the term shrinkflation? I've heard of it, but I don't quite know what it means. Tonietta Cooper went grocery shopping Thursday with her granddaughter Kaylee at Shields Family Market in Wilkesbury. She may not know what shrinkflation is all about, but she says she knows all too well what inflation means. The inflation now is ridiculous. The prices are just skyrocketing through the roof. It makes it hard for hardworking people such as myself to afford everyday supplies, you know, living supplies. So you are paying more, but you're getting less for what you're paying for. Senator Bob Casey heads up a Senate subcommittee that is taking on the issue and he puts the blame squarely on large corporations. And we can, we can attribute this, uh, in this case, in this report, to this shrinkflation, where they're, they're literally, uh, the, the price is either going up or staying the same, and the product is getting smaller, the contents of the product. It, it should not be permitted. Uh, it's, it's one of the reasons why we have to take action. Casey and his colleagues say the makers of the products have to be held accountable. You know, they're profits are going through the roof, their taxes have gone down, and, and you would think that would, would, would somehow be reflected in the price, but the price keeps going up. You know, some products were, have remained the same in price, but you're getting less, less product. So um, there's not much we can do about it. It's really um, on behalf of our suppliers. Frank Shield Jr. is co-owner of Shields Family Markets in Wilkesbury. He says they do everything they can to keep prices as low as possible. In terms of inflation the past few years, you know, we've sacrificed our own margins just to try and save some people some money from, from our customers. 79-year-old Carl Daubert from Wilkesbury is a Vietnam vet. He lives on a fixed income. He says he just wants something done for whatever you call it, inflation or shrinkflation. Oh, they're definitely going higher. I, I, I bought stuff two years ago that there, it's like, Two, three dollars more now. Unbelievable. And yeah, we heard that, as you can imagine, from just about every shopper we talked to today. Now, Senator Casey tells me it's a work in progress to hold these corporations accountable. Now, the reports, there are actually three separate reports. The most recent report on shrinkflation was released this very day. You can see more on that on our website, pahomepage.com. Nick and Candace, back to you. Andy, thank you.